everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel here i talk about everything luxury uh, unboxings and how to consume them mindfully um, if this is something of interest please take a look at my other videos as well and consider subscribing to my channel if you are a return viewer thank you very much for your ongoing uh, support and uh, please hit the thumbs up uh, button if you enjoy the video now today is a Chanel unboxing that I have for you from um, the boutique in Sydney. Um, so you can tell by the camellia on the paper bag it's not a uh, beauty item this time. Um, I remember, yeah, the camellia used to be fabric but now is um, just paper which is a bit of a shame because I did really love my um, Camellia previously when I purchased my first Chanel wallet uh, which was a long wallet that I bought in Hong Kong you've got the nice Chanel white ribbon there uh, with the logo printed on it and yeah look I the reason why I bought this is for um, a practical um, sort of function um, because I needed a pair of more dressier um, shoes um, to attend a, a dinner function so I went out specifically to look for such item um, and I can't wait to show you guys. This is actually my first pair of shoes purchased from Chanel. In fact, I would say it's probably the first pair of high-end luxury shoes that I've ever purchased. Um, I'm always a bit hesitant to buy shoes from luxury brand um, just because I'm thinking, you know, it's hard to maintain them well and I like to use my items so it's probably not going to last long but I thought you know with something that is a uh, dressier I don't I won't be using it every single day but there I do need it every now and then so perhaps that's one type of shoes that I can justify splurging on um, so another camellia here it's just basically yeah stuck to the ribbon I love how they tend tie the ribbon so nicely um, I can never tie ribbons this nicely so as you probably have caught um, on the side of the shoe box uh, with the label um, you probably know what type of shoe this is by now I deliberately chose something that is very classic that wouldn't run out of fashion um, particularly when I guess you know I intend to keep this for as long as possible um, and to use it for sort of you know yeah any sort of event which I don't go to okay you know very often at all uh, it's only ever once in a while but which is why you know I think it will it will be fine if I just wear the same pair of shoes every single event um, given it's probably going to be once a year if that at all type of situation um, so yeah look it's a classic sling bag um, apparently it's often out of stock but they only had a shipment the day before I visited the boutique um, and yeah so I tried the sizes and you know with shoes always always try and store in fact with ready to wear as well just you know when it comes to very expensive high-end luxury item you really want to try it in store first before purchase um, or sometimes I guess you know you could buy online if you are close to a boutique that you can return the item to and change sizing if needs be but yeah no, I wouldn't just blind purchase online without easy access to a physical store for return and I always just feel a bit you know insecure when it comes to returning expensive items via the post uh, for returns and refund and exchange yeah so very classic 
Um, this is the only color they have. Unfortunately, I was hoping to get the black one, um, but they only have this beige um, black two-tone combination, which is still very neutral and would generally work with all outfits, I guess. So, um, yeah, so I decided to still take it. Um, it's quite shall i say it's it's quite comfortable i mean i like the heel that is blocked i can never wear stiletto type of heel because i don't have an even weight distribution with my gait um and so often i will grind the heel on one corner which makes the um pair of shoes very unstable with time so with the block heel it tends to do less of that now in terms of sizing i do actually need to size down half a size i'm usually at 36 and a half um european sizing uh or sometimes even 37 i can sort of you know wear with a bit of padding um, but with the chanel slingback when i tried at the store the 36 and a half is a tad too big that there is um, too much room at the back of um, the foot um, so the sling uh, is probably not secure enough uh, whereas uh, like downsizing to a 36 is a good size for me now the toe um, is pointy and so for those with like extra wide fit it probably uh, we feel like it's squishing your toes a bit uh, for me it actually feels a little bit tight on the toes area but i'm hoping because it is goat skin leather that it will just stretch out uh, with time um, and i think that's something to be mindful when buying leather shoes that the leather do stretch with time so if you first wear it and it's already very comfortable then you know it, it may loosen up so that it becomes too loose um, after a few wear look very elegant even with a pair of wide leg jeans and by the way these jeans are what i've unboxed in another um, video it really does suit you know a more um, dressier elegant look as well as a more casual look um, so i'm pretty happy with this pair of chanel sling bag very classic and timeless um, and this is it from me today i hope you've enjoyed this video and until next time you all take care bye